What's good, YouTube? Slim TV Games here, back for another song at Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> I want to keep forgetting the name, but today we're about to take on the big boss, and then we're going to take on the Pokemon League, so let's just get right into it. Um, I have... You know, I, I, I've uh, I've been training. You know, I've been training a little bit. I have actually a lot of Pokemon trained up, ready to take on the Pokemon League. So I have like a different variety of teams. You know, it won't just be, you know, the starting five. Well, I mean, it might, it might be. You know, it just depends on how we're doing and you know who who, who I think needs to be swapped in and swapped out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But before we even talk about the Pokemon League, let's 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 put this big boss in their place. Let's check our team real quick. There goes Clyde. Okay, our team's looking pretty good. Yep, everyone's about level 60, so shouldn't be no problem. Yeah, yeah I got a new fit. Going with the suspenders this time, with a uh, more classy look with the glasses, the headband for a sporty look as well, and I got the Jordans, and uh, I still got the same pants on. So yeah, I want to go into the Pokemon League and into this battle with style, because I already know I'm going to win. But can I win with style? What's up, PM Slim? Yep, that's my name. Actually, no, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Now, allow me to reveal my true identity. Yeah, we knew it was you the whole time, bro. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clyde was no other than the director of the Naranja Academy. Mr. Claybell. Wait, I put already... Uh, Yes, this might be quite a sh quite the shock. My disguise was perfect after all. Hey, Clavo, don't don't get don't get your head too big. I accidentally said the wrong thing. Regardless, there is one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all of Bro, okay, I didn't What? Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, er, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. So Master PM Slim, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. What the heck? Okay, he's a ghost type. I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Let's get you out of here. Some in my boy Deal Breaker. Oh yeah, I did change some of the names. I just like the name Deal Breaker for my boy. Okay, so he cuts um, physical moves in half, but. Kowtow Cleave should do some damage. Kill him, kill him in this one shot. Yeah, see that reflect did. Okay, I'm gonna switch him out. Hopefully he doesn't fall. I think he still might fall asleep. But maybe not. Let's see. Hopefully if I get him back in his ball before it's too late, he won't sleep. Bro, this guy is corny, bro. Get Clavel out of here. Oh my gosh. That's All right. Got the Quinjet. Yeah, get that get that nonsense out of here, bro. You dream eater. And you reflect roll off. It's over for you, pal. Finish the job. That was stupid, bro. Playing these little yawn games, bro. Obama Snow. Armor Rouge will take care of it with Heat Wave. I don't know how I feel about this battle music. Like, I'm trying to get into it, but I just don't... Like, I think Clay Claybell isn't evil. But it's very weird for 
a professor to be on some stuff like this, real talk. Amaru's look so cool. Gyarados. Quinjet will handle the job. My attack, though, my special attack is what matters. Thunderbolt. <laughs> Bro, what was that little cut? Why why do we just watch some okay, Hound Doom? We use Elvis Duxley. Elvis Duxley is literally like the, the complete counter to Hound Doom, because fighting beats dark and fire and water beats fire, so. Liquidation. That's nice. Easy, easy. Poltergeist? Uh, that's a ghost again. nice. I think he cut my attack in half. Yeah, will o cuts the attack in half. So... Yeah, he survived that by a hair. Unless he has a move that's super effective. I, I won this regardless. And I had... This deal breaker has like such high... Uh, Experience, we'll use Iron Head, you know, I mean, not experience, but, um, uh, HP. I just need to teach him Sucker Punch, and then he'll be, he'll be straight. Good job, Deal Breaker. Mouse I'm mad I couldn't use Frozo. I'm gonna send him out. I mean, this might be stupid, but I just wanna, uh, you know, maybe he'll wake up. Second turn, he's asleep, he usually will wake up. Or third. I think, ah, Cassiopeia would be back to a corner like this. We're about to get this whole story. Let's see what he's gonna use. Very well. Seems like I have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. I forgot about that. I forgot about terrestrialization. And all the kids are just walking past like it's normal to see this guy battle. Like, this is your director. Oh, wow. Alright, Frozo. I mean, you... Frozo tanked the hit. Can you believe that? Alright. Well. Enough of these games. I think he, he could use a dark type move. If I can terrestrialize. That did absolutely nothing. Alright. Let's just take care of this. been effective if I was still a psychic type, but I'm not. Yeah, get out of here, clown. That heat wave. I'm proud of Frozo for taking that hit. That was a fairy type move he just took. 
You know, Frozo's gonna be a beast when he evolves. How strong have you grown? Stronger than you, obviously. Sweet. Yes, sir. Bax Caliber. This dude is a complete beast. This Pokemon blasts cryogenic air out from its mouth. This air can instantly freeze even liquid hot lob. Dang, bro. And he's 6'11. I should work on getting Gimme Ghoul's Glaive Rush. The user throws its entire body to reckless charge. Attacks from opposing Pokemon during the next turn cannot miss and will flip. Ooh, uh uh, bro. Attacks from opposing Pokemon during. Okay, so I'm not really messing with takedown either, though. See, that's the thing. That's like a that's like a last resort type move. That's like like when you're when you when you're either sure that Glaive Rush is gonna take care of the next Pokemon, or if you're sure that like, yeah, that's risky. But I don't like takedown either. So, well, now, Master PM Slim, it seems you have grown quite spendly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden, but I believe I can ha hazard a guess to who they might be. This is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrow should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student would hope to stand against him and win, so I challenge you to battle to test your skill. If he had lost it, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia, such as my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task, but please defeat Cassiopeia, take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Come on, bro. You don't have to lie. You could have just said, I want to test you in battle. Thank you for from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there, what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's not a pleasure at all, Mr. Claybell. I've come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle and going on school crimes, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Oh no, if I could just explain, you see, it's a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me, your excuses would be worse than a stunkies behind. St stunkies but but behind <laughs> Hell. Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, PM Slim. You'll write our letter of apologies to the students and the faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board, make no mistake. Good gracious, no, anything but that, I implore you. Okay, so, Claybell is actually like a really cool guy. I wonder how much time we can waste by, um, maybe if I go to my dorm and sleep, it might make it nighttime. I'll try that, but first, since we're here, let's go to a couple classes. Okay. So we have everything at two now. So let's start from the bottom and go to home egg and make it three. Yep. We'll take two classes. Class will be getting soon, don't be tardy. And then after that we'll go to my room, we'll go to sleep. Hopefully I can choose for it to go tonight. And then we can fight um Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia? Cassiopeia. Whatever it is. Put away your phones, it's time for class to begin. In our last class, I believe we talked about the effects you can get from food on your picnics. You can receive meal powers, you can restore HP for all your Pokemon in the party. It is truly a convenient means of healing your Pokemon. Unfortunately, as I'm sure you're aware, it's not suited for for use in battles when you cannot make food or when you can when you wish to restore HP quickly. At such time as those, you should make use of healing items such as potions, which can per you can purchase from the Pokemon or the school store. Healing items are immediately effective and can be used any time that you open your bag. They are, however, consumed after one use. Potions restore 20 HP, Super Potions restore 60 HP, and Hyper Potions restore 120 HP. The pricier the item, the more HP it will restore. Keep in mind how much money you have when you are stocking up on these items. However, for or unforeseen happenings are an inextricable part of traveling from place to place. Imagine if you 
you, if you will, the following scenario. You find yourself with injured Pokemon, but you have no potions. You are out of sandwich ingredients. And there are no Pokemon centers nearby. Tell me, Miss Master PM Slim, what should you search for when in perilous situations with no way to heal your Pokemon? The items on the ground. Perfectly correct, Master PM Slim. I see you are well learned in survival techniques. If you see something shining on the ground, it's actually an item that has been dropped there. You may find a restorative item, such as an orange berry or a portion, in this way. You can use the R button to send out your Pokemon to pick up items as well. And then there are berries, of course. Berries, by the way, aren't like items from shops. If you let your Pokemon hold one, it will decide on its own when to eat the berry during battle. Letting your Pokemon decide the timing for itself can be quite interesting. At any rate, if you find yourself in need of healing, I suggest you look around for shiny items on the ground. You can't find... If you can't find such items, there are other methods you may employ for healing your Pokemon. Ah, but I see the bell demands the topic wait. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you farewell. Okay, yeah, nice and informative, blah blah blah, pick up items off the ground. But they're gonna start telling us like some pretty good some pretty cool stuff, you know. I think I just have to wait it out. Okay, home ec three, nope, art two, maybe. Art 2, bro, he be talking a lot, but let's get this bottom half done. That other, that language guy, like, he just be talking, like, he just be talking, like, six different languages at once. You know what, I need, I need to play Splatoon, bro, I need, to, I need to play Splatoon before, I might play that today, that sounds fun. I actually did everything I need to do today, I recorded a, uh-oh, I'm about to see you in, at the Elite Four, Mr. Hazel. Hello, class, it is I, Hazel, yet again. In our previous class, we discussed what beauty is, what might have been a little boring for you. So today, I thought we'd mess things up a little bit to pique your interest in art. Allow me to introduce our special guest. Gibble. Okay, so I think he has a Gibble. Or a, a Garchomp. This is Professor Gibble, the assistant lecturer for today. Now then, Professor Gibble, if you would be so kind to as to terrestrialize for us. As some of you already know, a Pokemon can terrestrialize if you use a Terra Orb. Normally, Professor Gibble would be of the Dragon type, but by terrestrializing, it succeeded in changing its type. So, class, what type do these lovely, glistening flowers above Professor Gibble's head represent? Excellent, PM Slim. Full marks for you. These beautiful flowers blooming above Professor Gibble's head show that it has now become a grass type. The shape of the Terra Jewel above Pokemon's head depends on the Pokemon's Terra type. To summarize, if an opponent's Pokemon Tressizer in battle, observe the Pokemon's Terra Jewel closely to see what type it has become, and choose effective moves accordingly. It is my sincere hope that today's lecture will help you achieve beautiful victories. The terrestrial phenomenon is indeed a fascinating and deep subject to discuss. That is it for today, class. Thank you, Professor Gibble, for your help. Glam Gib. All right. All right. Yeah. So you know, basic terrestrialized stuff. All right. Let's see. What, is this still light out? Let's see if I can do this real quick. Okay, yeah, so there's some places to explore. Maybe I could do that next time, but let me see if I can go to my dorm room and go to sleep for it to be night that way. I'm going to be so mad at this morning again. That did absolutely nothing. I'm gonna be mad if like the whole day restarted. Okay, so what else can we do? I kind of want to. Okay, I, I just have a feeling I won't be able to get to the Pokemon League without taking on the big boss. Maybe can't change the time, the day, the time of day on my own timing. Yeah, that sucks. But.
Oh, he's over here. I see him. All right, here we go. Seriously, you beat me here? Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There may be a good reason for calling this here like this. Let's find out. Everyone always says she's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor, but my mom, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her even playing with me, her own kid. My bow stiff's the only one who's all, who was there for me, always. Anyway, it's open now. Go in. Just want to get this over with. Bro, the Jordans are looking clean right now. Y'all, y'all don't get it. There's no one in here. I need your help. No voice acting? I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the Great Crater of Paldea. I have been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time and asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's Gloria research. Glorious research. The final, the final step? But there is something we need first, something that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arby? This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. And promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic and security systems. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come if you feel the need. I'll be waiting for you the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Area Zero? Area Zero? That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mabo Stiff got wounded in the first place. Down in the Great Crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? I suppose she did ask. And I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. We're not friends, bro. You, you, you told me to shove off our first meeting. So I guess I'm going tail. Besides, I'd love to give my mom a piece of my mind. All right then, PM Flynn, outside. We're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if we're really ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Why am I smiling like that? I'm, like, I'm just thinking like in my head, yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass.
Battle Arvin. All right, cool. So we get another battle in, more experience, more more fodder to get to the Pokemon Pokemon uh, League. Then fold the Elite Four, all of them. Who do I want to go first? Let's send uh, send Frozo in first. The trunk is smelling your butt, bro. Uh, he said he caught me. All right, you ready for battle, PM Flim? Excellent. You're ready too, right, Mabel Stiff? He don't. Oh man, he look tough. Yep, Mabel Stiff says he's ready. Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You never know, he was so weak just a while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if he was always lost to, the, to that one student council girl, the, the battle fantic one. If you lost to her, you're definitely losing to me. Battle fanatic. Anyway, my point is there is no need to worry. We're a brand new Arvin and Mabo stiff, and we're feeling audacious and maybe herb herbaceous. I don't know, herbaceous? Let me give you a taste of what I can do. Greedent? Oh, wow. Yeah, my boy is tough. The Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Herba Mythica are all stars, every one of them. Okay, so, okay, that's what's up. Oh, I thought I taught him Brick Break. Let's see what Dragon Call does. That did nothing. As long as I didn't get paralyzed. I could have promised he had Brick Break on him. Maybe, or maybe I got rid of it for Dragon Claw. I should have kept Brick Break on him, honestly. No, no paralyzation, please. Thank you. We'll take care of him. Toad Scroll. Um, I think that's a fighting type now. I don't know what type that is. We'll see. I've I've been trying to catch a Toad Scroll this whole time, but I've never I've never been able to find one. I don't know how rare it is or what. I think he's like. This should work. Okay. I'm I'm glad I have good defense. That did absolutely nothing. I don't know what type this is. Hmm. Earth power, huh? He might be ground. You know what? He's ground, huh? Yeah, he might be ground, so... Let's try this. It might not work. This is just a test, honestly. Yeah, he's a ground type. Sludge bomb. All right. Um, I'm kind of at a loss here. Oh, super effective. Ah, oh, you fool. I'm I'm knocked out. All right. Well, either I keep him in. I like this music though. He's gonna use Sludge Bomb. I'm gonna eat one more and I'll, 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 I'll outspeed him. Yep. Not poisoned yet either. Toad School, huh? I wanna go find one. Gargansel? Should we do a Gargansel fight? Forget it. Let's go. I'm just having fun at this point. Let's go.
Who's faster? Stealth Rock is crazy. Forget all that. Great defense, bro. My speed fell. That does honestly, bro, to me that doesn't matter. Let's end it though. Body press. Let's go villain. He'll take care of him. This is going to be mad effective. I forgot about that. This should take care of him. Yeah, that's mad effective. Cloyster? Isn't he water? He's water ice, right? I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, bro, them, them stones might kill uh, Armor Rouge. I forgot. Stupid stones. Oh, okay. It looks like them stones didn't. Is he ice? I'm. Oh, the stones got me. And I might be slower. We'll see. He might kill me here. Oh, okay. Looks like he was slower. Mabo stiff. Let's send in a deal breaker to break the deal. Because anything he, he throws at us now, it won't be that effective. These stones are going to hurt a, a tad, but I'm steel, so... He's gonna terrestrialize. My attack fell. Let's go for it. Forget it. With a glow up. I like how Nintendo tried so hard to use like the new words and stuff like vibe and glow up. Four, two. So where's that big where's that big axe gonna go on top of his head? So it's just a bigger axe on top of the axe already on his head. I guess he has like a sword almost. He's gonna hit first. Fire Fang? Okay. We're gonna end it here. Crunch is crazy. He's doing some good damage. What? I don't, how did he eat that? Alright, come on, deal breaker. You got this, bud. Dang it, deal breaker. This man fell back in his chair. It's fine. I played it wrong. I should have been using the... Uh, yeah, no, Deal Breaker didn't deserve that. This should end it. Crunch. If, if he somehow... That's crazy. There we go. Get crushed. So close, Mabo Stiff. So close, but PM Slim, thanks, little buddy. Yeah, that was a nice little fight. You know, he had some good Pokemon that kind of threw me for a loop. That Toad is cruel, was crazy. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down the, those Titan Pokemon, huh? 
Yeah, much as I hate to admit, I, I do think we're going to need some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I say we need at least two more people. Somebody with champion ranks to get level skills, and someone who could deal with crazy tech. That student council girl? Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job, but I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on our level as in champion rank level. I'm about to fold her, so do we. But we'll all, but we will, well, we've got to do what we've got to do. Whoever you think can help, just try and get in good with them. We'll see if we can get a team together. Get in touch with me if you make progress. I'll do the same. Alright. So Penny and Nimona. Okay, yeah, so it's basically complete now. Let me check my Pokemon. Okay, they healed him up for me. How do I get it to get to nighttime? I might just have to cut to nighttime, guys, because... Unless I can somehow figure out how to get to the Pokemon League. I do want to battle Cassiopeia too. I mean, the more levels we can get before the Pokemon League, the better. So, if it takes one, guys, I'm gonna cut from here. Wait, I'm in here. The schoolyard? Where is that at? Come to the academy in the dark of night for a battle against Cassiopeia in the schoolyard. Where's the schoolyard? Oh, okay, I know what to do. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, okay, I, I know what to do. These loading screens are terrible. I gotta go to the little map and go up to the schoolyard. <clears throat> I forgot that was a thing. I like how Gengar comes out at night too. Okay guys, here we go. Time to put Cassiopeia in place. I knew it. PM Slim. Thanks for coming. That evil smirk. She looked like she would get bullied, though. <laughs> this might be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside of school, that time the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown, are you ready? Thanks. Sorry to keep you. Letter of, of apology missed time in me, or I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice! Are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after all. Oh, I need mean, no. Is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I've come to that. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. O okay, will do. I had to give her that weird, creepy, evil anime girl voice. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. 
No, Penny. Bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Umbreon. That's fine. Uh, let's see what Elvis Duxley can do. I could say I could have sent them both in, but close combat. My attack fell, but close combat should do. Okay, so that worked. Jolteon? Oh, it makes sense you'd have all the evolutions, huh? Yeah, she, she stayed carrying that Eevee backpack on, around. How, how is she surviving all these attacks? That's a waste of a move. I'm gonna switch out after this too, you know that, right? Baby doll eyes, like bro, get out of here. That Clive just in the back is recording. They pouring on, huh? Take care of it. T bolt. She has very bulky Pokemon. Good thing I always outspeed. Flareon? Let's keep him in. See if we can get off a hurricane. Bro. I thought... Okay, well, Quinjet died for no reason. Literally, uh... Air moves are, like, super effective. Our flying-type moves are super effective against fire, I thought. Maybe I'm tripping. Alright, well, Earthquake. Oh no, my attack fell. Watch him live this. Nope. Uh, Leaf Yarn. Amarouche has got no play. No, flying types are good against, uh,. Let's see. Heat wave. Let's see, Sylveon? Alright, deal breaker row, you can't let me down.
I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. She might terrestrialize her, though. Time to rush life, shine bright like a starry sky and become who you really want to be. I'm so glad she didn't bring out one of those stupid cars. Okay. So she went fairy. Ironhead still might put in work. I don't know. Let's see. She lowered my attack. Yeah, everyone wants to lower their attack in this. Yeah, my, so my my attack is that high that she has to do it two times. This should kill. Yep. Perfect. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Okay. So this is the end. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? you got to be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star, and everything's gotten out of our hand. Yeah, well, that happens when you're around a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, we merely did. We declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist. Battle, wait, no, persist in their tyrannous oppression. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the police made a huge mistake about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired ep epically. There is no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right, this little stump might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess online and just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star, I dragged you all into this, so I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah, and what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say is, all I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we were ne we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like that? We'll like we'll never speak again. I need to go take care of some things. Pry fee. Speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, Big Boss, answer us! Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, PM Slim, and you too, Clive. I'm glad you, I could see things... I could see this through on my end, and through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star, and me too. Hold that thought, ah, uh, Penny, Miss Ah, uh, Penny. I'd like to, to check something with you first. Check what? I was worked to something like Operation Starfall through the big boss of Team Star. Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply or order them to? Our code says that no one in team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code again. Once again, the bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the, the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even lead the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one more thing. Why does Team Star know what do your friends in the team mean to, to you? They're my treasure. They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? 
Now, then, later, there's still something I should I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well, then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. D Director Claybell? Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Ahem, <laughs> well, that's quite enough for that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Huh? Yo, big boss, long time no see. Didn't, isn't your first time seeing him? Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only just found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily, is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady? Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Forty. <laughs> we found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Eerie. Now then, Miss Penny, each of you young, dang it, on behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. C come again? As the director of Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal fa failure. What? I still don't, I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first day as director, all I've ever experienced at the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But I know now this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and of course your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can to continue to exist, should that be your wish. Woohoo, Benny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my heart is giddy with glee, but I, I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? C Director Claybell told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? It's not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone else told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared us for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay, all okay now. But even so. Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Saudi disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. And let me provide, provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving po of Pokemon powered vehicles, you know, go on. Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yeah, specifically I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for? The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to be found them in collaboration. To found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master PM Slim battling his way through your bases. The basis construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably, remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue to, your activities 
but henceforth as STC staff members, using your coronary bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no, it sounds like fun. So I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the SDCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our side, me lady. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were all already talking about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. Th th this would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. DM Slim, what do you think? Huh, but uh, I just... You need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. You, you take some time to decide. For now, at least I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, uh, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it's time to leave. Yeah, it's time for y'all to go to bed. Master PM Slim, please stop by my office later if you would. Alright. Ah, here you are, PM Slim. I wanted to thank you all for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? It's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. Hello, Director. About the SDCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you so much for your favorable response. But, um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. I mean, what would that be? Um, you know the LPI gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got a hold of it illegally by hacking the Pokemon League LP management system. Ah, I see that is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that I mean, or I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. This is a matter rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I'll have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League Chairman, on how to best proceed. I figure as much. I do apologize, Master PM Slim, but I'll have to ask you to give us some privacy. Dang, bro. Penny is a wild one, but see, when you're bullied, like, it's 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 like, I, I get it, like, it's hard. I've never been bullied severely. Like, I've, I've experienced, like, what it's like, you know, like, I've experienced, you know, people being rude, but I, I wouldn't say I was necessarily bullied. If you ever need help with any school-related matters, I'll just be happy to lend it here. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I guess I should head to the Pokemon League. Slim? No, not anymore. That's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met. I'll be waiting. Alright. And now I need to figure out how to get to the dang Pokemon room. I think I might just, There has to be a way to... I'm pretty sure maybe I can just ride Coridon. Maybe climb over that hill or something. We'll see. In front of the school stairs. What do we mean? down even further? Oh, 
Oh, it's right here. Hostar la vista. The six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about the LP thing, I thought it was going down big time for hacking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. The Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavo and Gita let, and that Gita lady, Gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. I'm sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um, thank you. Thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done here. Draco Meteor. I'm sure. So does that mean we're getting a Dragon type Eevee? Because she's like the, like why would she have Draco Meteor? You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to replay the, repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking stuff. I do have something, so next time I'll be helping you, PM Slim. No, where you at? Be seeing you there, Hostar la V-Star. Starfall Street Complete. I will be back to get into that crater. I want to get to the Pokemon League now, I really do, so let's see if we can kind of cheat our way. And they don't really make it clear. Yeah, we're behind the school. Let's see. There's nothing back here. Except the TM. Amnesia. Alright, so we've done that. Let's get up there. Alright. What happened? Oh. Okay, we saw okay. That was underwhelming, but we did it. Cool. Pokemon League is pretty cool. Looks very professional. It does, doesn't it, bro? Let's get it. Let's get let's get into these battles and then let's we're gonna we're just gonna fight Penny. We'll do the Pokemon League next next episode, but to kill some time, why not Let's see if we're even ready? What level are your Pokemon, kid? Meowth. Maybe this dude sent out a Meowth next to the Pokemon League. See what you got, bro. That last guy sent out a level 14. It looks like you got promised, K. Let's give your challenge. So, can I go to the Pokemon League like on accident? Crocodile, okay. Oh, you guys see the the detail on the scales on Crocodile is crazy. Still not strong enough to take me on, though.
Let's see here. Aqua Step. That mouse hold or that mouse hold, uh, tandem mouse. And he's bulky for eating that. Cerelu? Uh, Cerel Edge. Um, I don't want to. Got a couple options here. We'll send in Grave Digger. Or maybe I could have named it like Salt Picker. There's a Magnemite above us. Or Magneton. They're trying to take me out with one shot. Haha, oh, did you get some growth out of that? A little bit. I'm ready to fight Penny. Or in the Mona. There's Gita right there. Alright guys, so we're nearing the end of our journey. But, surprises are still in store. And guess what? There's a confirmed, it's confirmed DLC. So, we'll be back pretty soon. Plus, I'll keep playing. I might like a recent episode of me battling my friends and stuff. Hello, PM Slim. So this is it. You decide to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, PM Slim. I look forward to meeting you again soon. I can't wait to battle you. <coughs> Can I see your badges? Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Let's see here. PM Slim from Naranja Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well. You may not proceed to, into the interview room. Oh, yeah, we have to take a test, huh? Man, can I just... Okay. Okay, Rika. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. What's this beat, though? Okay. Whoa. Irika will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, PM Slim. Please think carefully as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Ah, oh, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what would you 
intend to do if and when you become a champion. Become even stronger. I see you interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gems give you the most difficulty? I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? I'm glad you seem to remember. Grusha was tough, I don't care. But do you remember what which type of Pokemon Grusha used? Wonderful. Building these the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, PM Slim. I sure do, and I have a whole like six teams ready to take you guys on. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Very good. Now please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a Peeper's question. What do you intend to do if and when you become... I already said that. Ah yes, that's right. Try to get me to like... Next is the final question for the interview. Do you like Pokemon PM Slim? Yes. Good job, kiddo. This beat go nuts. That wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you, PM Slim. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. On your first try, too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. Ah, I'm about to battle her. Anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. This next segment is called what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best league the league has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row. No turning back. This won't be a cakewalk. I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready. Then go into the room behind me. Namona, where you at, girl? Look, if we just end up fighting the Elite Four, or at least one or two of them, I'm perfectly fine with that. I guess I have to wait to battle them, Namona, huh? I was really hoping she'd battle me before the Elite Four, but we're here. Let's go, Rika. I'm ready for the fight. I've been itching for a good battle. Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. Rika, the Elite Four. What are you using? Steel? Whiskash? Quinjet. I finally get to value. I've been looking forward to this, so don't you give up too soon. Growl? Wish cash. Alright, let's see. Pretty sure Wish Cash is ground. All right, Frozo, let's give it our all. Thanks for that. Now, let me show you how it's really done. Earth power, huh? Show them what for. Let's give it our all. Icicle crash. Frozo with the dub. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Don fan. Don fan. We should be good. You might know a fighting type move, but Icicle Crash. Perfect. Stone Edge. Alright, Frozo. You did fine. That hurt, though. You did good, buddy.
increase our speed. Took care, I'm, I'm glad we took care of Wish Cash early. Now, she probably has a Gastrodon, which is going to be annoying. I don't have a grass type move. Doug Trio. Liquidation. She's gonna trust like camera up. Ah, uh, bad choice. Finish it off. Liquidation. All right, Elvis Duxley, you got this, buddy. I show him what for. Quad Sire. Oh, interesting. All right, Grave Digger, dig his grave. Haha, <laughs> no, you're really impressive. Something else, kiddo. Let's we'll see if he's gonna have a poison terror type or a, um Let's see what he got. Let's finish this. Go on, Clyde Sire, shake things up a bit. Ground type, huh? Pure ground is nice. I should have known. He used Protect, so that gave me another shot. But what can I do to beat him? I might need to switch out another Pokemon. He used Protect. Claude's Eye looked kind of scary, bro. Not gonna front. So all my moves can do damage. It's probably best for me to send this dude back in. Grave Digger, I don't want this to be a drawn out battle, man. Watch your step, because things are about to get a bit shaky. Alright, let's see what you got. You might kill. Perfect. We're about to show you why, why I'm going to be the champion. Let's finish this. Oh snap! Okay, Claude Sire. I might have just wasted a turn. That ability is nice. I don't know what else I can do. Um, close combat. Let's try again. That's good. It's fine. We can take it from here. Good job, Elvis Duxley. That was a bad call on me. watch will finish I don't I don't know what move he'd have to counter this but we're just gonna uh, air slash <sighs> this he just prolonging his death Why does he have liquidation? Oh, come on, bro. Like, I wish I knew. I wish I had a Pokemon that knew Faint.
Not bad, kiddo. Yeah, no one likes losing, but I mean, it is what it is. Talk about unfair. No way was I ever going to win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past a elite test, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do, PM Slim. You better stand your toes, though. The second Elite Four is stronger than me. Of course. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Kooming. I can't heal up my Pokemon, and it's all... It, I don't get to go to their separate rooms? Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me. You bet I will. Alright guys, we're gonna fight her and then we're gonna be done. This is a steel type. So who's not gonna be help here? Steel. You're not gonna be of, of much help. So we're gonna put you back. Saru Ledge? Come on out, buddy. And then who else is not gonna be of help? Steel, you're not gonna be as much help. I'm not going to use all fire types. You could be of help, though. And who else? You're not going to be as much help either, honestly. Um. Oh, you know, yeah, where's my boy? Bro, this is stupid. <laughs> all right. <laughs> no more fire types. This should be fine. I should be fine with this. We're going to start with you, Rathalos. bag yeah okay let's give it our all are we ready to face poppy of the elite four yes It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye-bye, mister. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off, you'll see. I can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they come. Alright. Poppy of the Elite Four. Caparaja. Alright, Rathalos. We have to outspeed here. Go on, Raja, smush him. Man, so close yet so far. Okay, okay. I didn't get earthquaked. Stealth rock, so. Flamethrower. On. Um, keep current Pokemon. What you got for me? Oh, and yeah, oh, this this ain't good for you, buddy. Sucker punch. Okay, he knew earthquake. Good job, Rathalos. Now finish the job. Get this clown out of here. Corviknight. Hmm. Corviknight. Corviknight. Let's go with Saru Ledge. He may know a dark type move, I'd be forgetting about that. See what, see what we got. What could he know that could really beat me up? Maybe a rock type move? 
Spray burn. Ooh, I forget. All right, it's Red Ledge. You got this, bro. Bitter Blade will take care of your health. <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, snap. Magna Zone? Electric type. Keep current. Bro, Surreal Edge is on a high right now. I just use Sword Dance. I came to sweep. Bitter Blade. Oh, yeah, he got sturdy. Alright, let's finish it. Psycho cut. Armor cannon? The user shoots its own armor out as a blazing projectile. This also uses the lowers the user's defense and special defense stat, huh? All right, we got Flash Cannon, which I like. That takes care of fairies. We got Expanding Force, which I'm keeping. Now Heat Wave, 100, bro, like, these last, bro, yeah, get rid of that. That's what I was thinking, like, bro, these last resort moves. Um, who do I want to use? Amaru's will take care of it. I'm not scared. My last Pokemon will turn things around. Think a ton, huh? I'll terrestrialize too then. That's fine. Heat wave. It's time to get dressed up and all pretty, Tinky. Just show them what you got. Oh, Armourouge with the defense. Finish it. Give it your own. Yes, sir. Wow, I wanted to take revenge on you, Rika. Pretty sure you meant to take revenge for me, Squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by it. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. It's your turn, Mr. Ooh. Bro, not boring Larry. Already beat you. Okay, Larry? Hello there, it's me, Larry. Hello there, it's me, Larry. Okay, Larry? He's for the next episode. Let me see something, though. How can I take a picture in this? I want to take a picture. Let's see. I think he's gonna use normal types. So we're about to put this team away. No, but real talk, how do I take a picture of this? Hmm. 
Yeah, I want to take a picture like right here. Oh, I can't use the camera app? They're bugging. They're tripping, bro. Like, I... Okay, well, guys, the next... Well, let me get my team ready, actually. So we're going to keep Deal Breaker on there because he's the Deal Breaker. We're going to keep my starter. But then we're going to put in... We're going to use you. Come on in, buddy. And some people may think this is cheating, but I just like having a variety. We'll bring back in Gargantle. We're going to take out Sarah Ledge. I need to make sure I keep the starting team. Like, bro, you're not part of... Okay, look. Most of these guys are not part of the starting team. Um... Of Lucario. Well, okay, so we have you, 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 you. And we're gonna start off with Steel Fist for the next episode. Well, with that being said, guys, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Love you guys. Peace.